Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar, your home for vintage Lego. And we're going to be looking at a couple of vintage castle sets. Now, one of these I actually did a video on before, but it wasn't this copy. So I did buy a bunch of Lego from one person. And while a majority of it was things I didn't currently own, there are a few duplicates. So this is one of the duplicates. So we're going to go through and I'm going to see if this is complete. But so as not to make this video a complete rehash like I did with a previous video, <laughs> we'll throw in this set, 1463. For, what did I say? Did I say, what? I don't even know what I just said. It's 1463. It's a treasure cart. This thing looks in really excellent condition. So this would have been a poly bag set. Uh, so I'll show you this one first, 1463. This thing looks like it was hastily thrown together. There's not a lot to it. Looks very uncomfortable to pull. So we got the one knight here. Let's come down to this level. This um, Fred. So we have Fred, and there's this backside of Fred. And here's Fred's cart that always falls down if he's not holding on to it. Um, it's like a wheelbarrow. So he's got uh, his crest there. He's got his his uh, sword there. He's got a spear with a flag there, and that's it. And he's got his treasure. So the front of the instructions show him pulling it like this. I feel like it's just, oh, there's so much weight concentrated back here in the back. It was like, whoa! <laughs> whoa! Maybe that's by design. Maybe it makes it easier to pull that. Whoa! <laughs> It looks fun, actually. Woo! <laughs> oh, is there treasure in there? Let's open it up. What treasure do we have? Ooh! Are you getting ready to build some mosaics? You got some studs there. These studs used to be so common, but now they're valuable. Actually, they're not. But we'll pretend like they're jewels. So, again, this was a poly bag. Now, it wouldn't have been... It would have been... I can almost picture the poly bag. I think it had this coloring on on the outside of it, but I may be wrong. I don't have the original bag that this came in, uh, but that is the poly bag. Hopefully, this thing was built correctly. Oh, you know what? I don't think it was. It was not. Oh no! It is not built correctly. And that's why we do videos, so you can see me make mistakes, so you don't have to. This is more like it. All right, and so this goes like that. Now it's not so top heavy. And then this piece still goes up here in the front. Oh. This is hard to do. There. So I'll show you how hard this is to connect. Oh. Wait a minute. This goes like this goes like that. Move the instructions out of the way. Or destructions. I broke his hand. Oh, we we have experienced an injury. Oh, that looks painful. All right. That will will will. Ouch. So yeah, our knight has suffered an injury. And we'll go on to the other set now. But at least I, I got it built correctly now, I think. So this is probably partially assembled. I'm going to open this thing up. It, it says it, this box commands you. Use this box for storage. You have no choice but to do that. This set's from 1988. The other one, the uh, cart, was from... Um, 1992. Yeah, this is still mostly together here. Oh, yeah. All right, let me fix this thing up. I think it's easier to completely disassemble. No, disassemble! Yes, disassemble. And then rebuild it from scratch because that way, if I'm missing a piece or there's a wrong piece, I'll find it. Now this is again 1988, so these are old gray bricks, not the uh, podcast. 
or the show on Thursday nights, but they are all gray. All right, so just take that whole thing completely apart. I should probably do an inventory based on like brick set or brick length or something. But I'm just going to take it all apart and then build it per the instructions. And if I come across a piece that's missing while I'm building it, then I'll go get it. But I'm confident this one's likely going to be mostly there, if not all there. Um, so, yeah. So it's going to be on hinge bricks like that. That's pretty cool. Pac-Man. So I usually wedge in between plates or places uh, like this. If I can get it to go in there. There we go. Like that. As you're building this thing up, it's really flimsy, but then it gets, as you start to add pieces, it gets more stable. Coming along. I'm almost done. <clears throat> I am nearing the end. I was missing two one by ones and a one by one plate. So two one by one bricks and one one by one plate as I was building this. And I feel like I'm leaving off a part here somewhere. Oh, I haven't got done. I still got another step to do. All right, so we finished, and our treasure cart knight is coming to seek assistance from the Robin Hood knights. <laughs> uh, the forestmen is what they're technically called. So I am missing uh, one thing, or actually it's more than one thing, but I'm missing some feathers. So these should have had a sprue of yellow feathers. So I got two of the three yellow feathers that would have come, come with it, but I'm missing the white. So there also would have been three white ones and it shows that on the instructions he's got the little white one there and the little yellow one there but I don't have either one of those so that is something I'll need to add to my list of things I need to find but everything else is there I did replace or um, find the missing one by one plate and a missing two missing bricks that I put in there but it makes a nice little tree house and all the tree houses in the Forestman era were black. <laughs> uh, they're black woods, um, I guess. So this, uh, you get one with the, um, the bow and arrow with his little archer thing with the arrow. What do you call that thing? The quivers? Quiver. Um, then we got this other guy. He's got a spear. This is a, move, move out of the way. You're broke. You're injured. Uh, this little target practice thing. And in here is their garbage which is yellow one by ones. Wow. So for him, the one by ones are treasure. For you, they're garbage. Well, maybe that's actually a secret hiding place for treasure. I don't know. Well, which it, sorry guy, fix that hand. Um, yeah, the one by ones are in his barrel. He's got one by ones in his thing. But this is a neat little um, place. We got the deer, that's the, um, what do you call it? The crest for the forestman. There's a spear there. We got a little baby tree. We got another bigger tree. Another spear. We got some Tarzan vines going on there. We got the little flag. So it's a secret hideout that opens up. Voila. And inside, barely a person could fit in typical Lego style. I don't know what you're going to do in there. You might could put one person in there. I don't know what's going on in those compartments. I guess it's just to say you can unfold it like so. And then we got it like that. Let's see if these guys can even fit in there. Oh, it looks like, it looks like there's a little... Oh! That must be the secret entr entrance right there. This, uh oh. What did I break? I broke the sword. Oh, there's a sword up there. It fell off. Let me see... So if you close it like that, yeah, then that's the little secret entrance. Throw the barrel in there. Oh, he can barely fit. Yeah, get him in there. Put that in there. See if this guy can fit. Ugh, uh-oh. I don't think he's going to fit. Why is he not? Oh, yeah, the room was full, guy. Sorry about that. You go up here. We'll put you up there. We'll put the treasure here we'll put this little thing right there 
we'll leave the feathers out and then let's see if this guy can fit in here need to get rid of your spear i'll break your hand to okay, grace put this guy right here where he's hanging halfway out and close it up voila uh oh oh this thing got in the way put that up there there we go. oh my hand <laughs> smashed his hand something's holding this up oh it's the barrel the barrel doesn't work there Let's try the barrel there. There, now we can close it. And there is the whole thing. Nice. So that's a vintage castle set. Another vintage castle set. I hope you enjoyed this look at this. So I got to make a notation on 6054. I'm missing some of the feathers. The yellow and the uh, white feathers. So I'm going to make a list. This one is missing a hand now. He broke his hand. <laughs> So I'm going to work on that, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Another look at classic castle forestmen. Tell me what you think of the forestmen. I really like the. I I, I dig the forestmen. I that was one of the ones that I had to get when they came out, and I couldn't afford them. And then they went on clearance, and then I got all of them, and then I sold them. And I just knocked the camera over. Sorry. So the uh, feathers. Are they called plumes? There you go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.